Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I am Amanda. I wanted to jump on today and do your full moon lunar eclipse reading. This is in the sign of Taurus and it is today November 8th. I know I am late, but I'm going to do the energy for the rest of the week until Monday. Okay, so this will be from, from now until Monday, until the 14th, November 14th. So, okay, this full moon is going to bring in some shocking events that might shake your foundation, y'all. It might, it's going to be like on a collective and an independent level. And today is, uh, we vote today, so <laughs> I'm nervous about that this evening. So, anyways, um, it's going to be like huge shifts that are happening. And as always, like I've, like I've been saying in the last three months, y'all, the old has got to go. We've got to brace the new and it's got to, you know, it's, it's on an energetic level you know, so, um, it's time to just, it's time to start embracing new ideas, new things, get your, get your ideas in order, you know, look at what you want, because it now is the time to plan it out, map it out, get it written down, and, uh, and to know, because if we don't know what we want, we're not going to get it, right, so, in this energy, truths will be revealed with people, um, that have been, lit, um, hidden, this is because, you know, stagnant energy is not going to stay stagnant anymore. It's going to be pushed, you know. Whatever people are feeling inside, it's going to be, it's going to pull up within us. And it's going to boil out, you know. So, um, it's, t it's just, a, it's, everything's getting stirred up, y'all. It's just all stirred up. Um, this moon's going to hurry things along. So, let's get going. I really feel for y'all Capricorn things are moving fast and things you know whatever you can't handle no more you're saying I want I know what I'm worth and I'm not taking anything less than that and you're you're moving out things that that don't serve you any longer. You're getting rid of it. It's really really highlighted for y'all. I know uh, I know a handful of Capricorns that are going through a lot right now so I mean it's it's not just you. It's, it's the whole collective is going on and people are getting angry people are getting frustrated you know and it's just like it's so we can get in that place of what we want it really is because we've been pushing what we want on the back burner we can't do that no longer the back burners are broken <laughs> the universe is taking the back burner away from us all right what is the energy surrounding capricorn for this week during the full moon okay the empress the ten of cups in reverse all right what can no longer be hidden for capricorn you're learning you're learning that you're not happy in a situation you're ready to create a new you're ready to build something new you might want to go you know independently on an adventure you got it mapped out in front of you you kind of know exactly what you want and you kind of know who you're going to take and who you're not going to take with you for the first part so the empress she's uh, the empress is creating a new you know she wants things that are loyal she wants to be able to be vulnerable with herself she wants to be able to be you know comfort she's comforting she's nurturing she's like she's the abundance and that's what you're looking for and you're seeing i think it's at home because the ten of cups you know the ten of cups is our roots is our foundation our stability but you're seeing that it's not stable and it's not you know you don't have your roots in too deep in this situation that you're in and you're learning that what could no longer be hidden for capricorn you're making plans you're building the strength and you're making plans to go into a different direction you're like you know what anything's better than this let me flip a coin where i'm going next all right, what do you need to embrace? What does Capricorn need to embrace? A new foundation. King of Pentacles. You need to embrace, like, the, um... Being determined. Having a vision, you know? The King of Pentacles is the visionary leader. He is a, a protector, a provider. And you need to embrace, you know, where are you... Um, very stable in life. You need to embrace your um, determination. 
I really feel like that. You need to embrace your determination. Because you're determined with the Empress, you're, you are determined to bring in that vulnerability with yourself and to face what you want. You know, because you see that you don't have it with the Ten of Cups in reverse. And you're learning with the hurt Hierophant that you are. What do you need to let go of? It's Seven of Cups. Unclear options. Okay, well, we're going to go deeper in that because I don't really want to clarify whenever... <laughs> and then the Temperance flips out in reverse. So they're like, yes, clarify this. This is something... I'm so sorry, y'all. Hush. This is something that's not balanced. It's an option that's not balanced in your life. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me let him out. So this is an option that you're just not balanced with. It's like you put a lot of energy into this option, but it's just, it turned into a still you know, situation. It turned into something that you no longer wanted. And it made you indecisive on how you were going to approach life next. What are you learning? Star, you have hope. Oh, I love this. You are learning that you can heal from this situation. And you have hope. And you're going to bring in that um, that determination that you, have, that you have that's underneath. That you haven't been able to face yet. You're, yep, you're going to pick up. You're making a choice to pick up and move on. That's nice. Okay, that's what you're learning. What is your blessing during this full moon? Rest. Coming up next. This decision is going to make you feel at peace. What's coming up next? Three of Cups. Celebration. Happiness. Things coming together. Where they weren't coming together in the past, they're coming together in the future. You know? Because this star is here. This star is like, it's your time to shine. You know? That's what you're learning. It is your time to shine. You are not going to lessen yourself or, you know, um, put yourself on a lower vibration for someone else. You are going to pick yourself up and you are going to shine just like the freaking star right here. And you're going to heal from the situation and you're going to start celebrating your life because you have been in a place that was stale. It was unbalanced and you're like, I'm not, I'm not fucking doing that no more. Not doing it no more. Because it's like you holding yourself back, you know. You got to find that determination to and that ambition within you to, to take that first leap. To take that first step into that leap of faith. And, and the, the star is like a leap of faith too, you know. She's like, she is hope. What is the Empress? And the Ten of Cups for the energy surrounding. Yeah. You just, you're, you're a little scared to end this. You got a little, you know, that four of cups is here as you hold on. But the death is here. So, I mean, it's like, yeah, you're a little scared to end this. And this has put you in a place of where you've been, you know, you've been dwelling. You've been in your thoughts. You've been thinking about the situation for a long time, you know. And now it's like you are coming into a place with this empress where you're like, I got I got to do something about it, you know. And then I feel like with this three of swords right here where you were feeling like self-pity before and you were in your, you know, your thoughts and it would have been in this bed, you know. You got out. You got out of that bed. You, and now you're seeing, you know. You might have ended the fear within you. Oh, I see that. You ended the fear within you and you walked you're trying to walk away from the situation now. Now that's why you have the plans. That's what you're you know, that's what can no longer be hidden is that your fear has lifted and now it's like I need to take the leap of faith. I need to walk. I need because I'm learning. I'm learning the truth. And the truth is like to, you know, put your boundaries up to find those boundaries within you because whenever you push those boundaries up then you can come into a place of celebration 
a place of, you know, um, the king, the queen of wands is cheerful and uh, warm and fun and dependable, you know, and you haven't been in that state for a while. You haven't been in that state. You kind of been mellow tone for a little while, you know, and now you're, it's like you're going to open up that door to where you can see the beauty in things. You weren't seeing the beauty in things with this situation, and now it's like a huge weight lifted off of your shoulders. I just felt it. I just literally felt a huge weight lift off of my shoulders. Like, oh, thank God. This is over with. This is what's coming for you, Capricorn. I got chills from head to toe. What is the Hierophant here that you're learning? This is what can no longer be hidden. Your burdens. How stressed you are. And how weighed down this situation has brought you. You know, I don't know if this has to do with a... Uh, um, I mean, there's not very many pinnacles. There's not... I don't know if this has to do at work, is what I'm saying. It could. It could do at work, or it could do at home, or, you know, place it where it goes, because I'm not tapping in on exactly where, but there's a situation here that's weighing you down, and you're you're in a place where, like, you're, I'm not sitting here like this any longer. I'm moving forward. What is this here? Ten of Wands. That no longer could be hidden. This your burdens. All right. What fell to the floor is coming to your door. The Queen of Pentacles. What no longer can be hidden is comfort in life, you know? Just comfort. You need the comfort. You don't have that comfort. And that's what you're walking away. You're picking up from this uh, King of Wands right here. You're walking away from that King of Wands energy and you're walking straight into your comfort. And your comfort you haven't been having for very long. You know? You haven't had that in a minute. You've been sitting in a place of just, just stillness, you know? King and Queen of Pentacles. You're coming into a place where you could just be, just feel like you're at home. You could finally feel like you're at home again. place of comfort and you know stability I love that oh my gosh I'm loving this I'm not picking up on what this is but it could be different for all of you you know what is this page of pentacles for what do you need to embrace oh this is for let's see page of pentacles Yeah, you need to put your boundaries up, okay? With this with this situation in the past, yes, it's tied to your home, it's tied, tied, tied to your family, it's tied to your soul. But there's something that's weighing you down, and it doesn't matter what it's tied to. It doesn't matter if it, you know, it, it doesn't matter if this person or the situation is very close to you and you worked on this very, very hard. What can't be hidden in the situation is that you have to hang back from it and put up your boundaries like you did all that you possibly could do in the situation and now it's time for you to hand over the um the responsibility because it's just too much you know it's just it's weighing on you you're making a choice about it you're making a decision on what you're going to do and you're not going back and forth with the situation. You know, you're going to make a, a decision and you're going to be like, nope, that's what it is. I feel like King of Swords energy with that, that by the book energy. And that's what you're going to be like. You're going to be like, this is going to happen and this is the way it's going to be. And that's just the way it is. What is this King of Pentacles? I hope this is making sense for y'all. <laughs> Queen of Cups reverse the strength and reverse and the um, justice. 
The King of Cups in reverse. You know, the King of Cups is compassionate and sincere and open. And he's just calm, you know. But whenever he's in reverse, he's really messy. And he's not calm. He's not compassionate. He's like a drunk asshole in a way, you know. He's just, he's just very... I don't know. He's just not open. He's emotionally unavailable, you know? And the strength in reverse is like, the strength is, uh, you know, building your strength up. But it's also like um, holding back, you know? I don't know. Let me sit here for a second and think about this. You need to re embrace your own stability. Justice is going to be had in this situation. Something wasn't fair to you, okay? There was something wasn't fair to you, and it just couldn't been hidden any longer. And it's okay that it didn't work out, okay? And I really feel like the strength in reverse. You know, most of the time the strength is us holding back and being reserved. You're not going to be reserved with this King of Cups any longer. You're going to speak your truth. You're going to say exactly how you feel. And you're going to put, you know, it is, it's going to be in a place of balance in the end. Because you're going to make it that way. You know, you're not going to let uh, this King of Cups in reverse sway the situation. You're not going to let them manipulate the situation. Because you're the King of Pentacles upright. You're stable. You're in a place where you're, you know, you're bringing in that, that, that good feeling, you know, that you're providing for yourself and, you know, you're, you're determined to do what you need to do to get out of this situation, to get out of these burdens. I don't really feel like there's justice or some kind of justice that's going to come to this situation and that's what you're going to make it. You're going to... You're going to make justice come to this situation. Because this King of Cups, he wasn't being, you know, he wasn't uh, that, what's the name, the, that compassionate being that you needed him to be. So you just, you're losing all strength in it. And you're saying, you're coming cold. You're getting cold in this situation. And you're saying, no, I'm not going to deal with this. All right, what's the Seven of Cups and the Temperance in reverse of what you need to let go of? There's that King of Cups. I mean, that King of Swords. So there's a lot of King of Swords. Okay, so one thing I want to say. If you need to let go of any guilt, okay, this situation might make you feel really bad that you have to turn your back on this King of Cups in reverse. But I really feel like this is a breakthrough for you. This is a breakthrough. This this King of Cups has been deceptive because deceptive I got the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords, which breaks down to the Seven of Swords. And that's what explains the whole situation is there is deception here. Somebody wasn't acting right. You know, they weren't bringing to the table what you needed. So what you need to do, oh, I'm, well, what you should do, I'm not going to tell you what you need to do. What you should do is let go of the universe is saying to let go of that anxiety, that guilt, the shame, you know, the, uh, the fear. Let go of that because the universe is going to bring you balance. They're going to bring you justice to the situation. Go ahead and get in that King of Swords energy, you know. Don't be curious about this person anymore. Let that curiousness go. Let that trying to change the situation into a different, you know, try, oh, maybe I could turn this King of Cups back around. No, you cannot. You know, the universe is saying, no, you cannot. We're going to let go of that. We're going to let go of this uh, being an option in your life. And we're going to let go of the imbalance in your life. And we're going to let go, you know, and we're going to do that very fast. It's going to come in like a tornado. You know, a tornado builds real fast and they come through and they wreak it, uh, they just, you know, sweep through a town and then they leave. And this is the energy that it is. And this is what's going to happen. It's going to be like this situation is going to it's going to be going, you know, one way. And then all of a sudden a big tornado is going to come and it's going to sweep through with all this information and all this chaos. And then it's going to leave as fast as it came. And then you might be like, 
oh wow because a shift is so fast you might be wanting to um to look back into the situation a little bit because that's natural that's natural in our you know in our our psyches we uh it's like a vacuum energy vacuum so whenever something gets taken away from us real fast we kind of you know where we should be really looking at the good things we i mean the bad things that brought us here we start to look at the good things and we're like oh no so it brings us wanting to go back to that situation don't do that let go of that let go of that this is the option let go of this imbalance situation okay because this is going to happen really fast whatever this is this change this shift is going to happen fast and they're saying don't get curious anymore don't spy don't get curious you know and um and don't get chatty whatever the situation is just kind of keep it to yourself that was a new one okay so what's the star but what are you learning you're learning a stalemate when i say stalemate y'all i just mean like this situation can't go no more you know like you have been put out too many times you have been have you've been having to um balance the situation where it wasn't balanced before for way too many times you know and and you've been manipulated somebody always thought they knew better they always you know they had that back and forth it was never that equal give and take you know it never was a break it was con it was constantly no i know better i know better no i would know better you know no and knowing this person probably didn't even know better they were just a manipulator what is this four of swords what are your blessings the full, the star, y'all, this is beautiful energy here, this is energy saying, you know, look, Capricorn, this is the universe saying, I have put you in a hard bind, that's what I want to say, like, you've been a bind, in a bind, and now, I, I got chills, y'all, from head to toe. And now I want to take you out of that bind and I want to put you into something that is so much more lighter and so much more happier, you know. I'm ready to give you the, you know, that loving energy back. I'm ready to give you your life, life force back, you know. And the new beginning that you've so created, that the new beginning that you have been craving, you know. I feel like you're going to have to create this new beginning. But the universe is saying, I got your back. Surrender. And when I say surrender, I mean don't try to change outcomes, you know. Because in this situation, it was looking like a, a little pool. Just a little, not much. But a little pool like, oh, did I do the right thing? But yes, the universe is saying, don't question yourself. You did the right thing. This person was not going to be open. This person was going to, you know, constantly mess with your strength. And we don't need that, you know. What's the three of cups of what's coming? So, yeah, you're healing and the universe is saying, you know, this is your blessing that I'm going to give you a restful time. I'm going to give you sunshiny days, you know, maybe a vacation. Maybe somebody needs a vacation just to unwind after this huge shift, okay. Maybe you should go and just, you know, take a day. Take a daycation, you know, whatever. And just, just build your strength back up. Three of Cups. You're going to come into a celebration that you, uh, that you cut something out. Yes, and now you're going to go in and you're going to say, okay, well, the Knight of Swords is like, you know, that determination to cut something off. And that's clarifying. This is what's coming next. That Three of Cups, that celebration. You're going to be celebrating that you're cutting this person off. I really, I don't feel like this is a lover. I don't know why. I just feel like this is a situation in your life. Could be a lover, though. You never know. And then, you know, you what's coming up next is you're going to go within you can find that new beginning you're going to start making plans and you're going to start you know looking within looking at your soul calling and seeing what's next what's next for Clark capricorn queen of cups four of cups ace of swords you're just gonna cut that discontentment out it's like it's like a it's such a shift it's a shift i love it
because it's needed to be happening, you know. Capricorns have been melatonin for a little while because they've just been dealing with the crap. Y'all have been dealing with so much. I know it. I have all my friends practically are Capricorns. Most of my family. Okay, let's get into it. What does the universe want Capricorn to do? get curious. Get curious of what you want. Don't get curious about the past, okay? Get curious about the future. I've been telling everybody this because it is really important at this time for us to look at what we want because we won't get what we want if we don't know what we want, right? So, look at it. Write it down. Get it in your mind. What do I want? You know? Think about it real hard. Write it down. And be like, okay, this is what you give yourself a five-year goal. You know, this is what I want to build on in five years. Put it on paper. And then that's where you start. It's, and Because if you don't know what you want and you don't put it on paper, then you just, you're blindlessly uh, manifesting. <laughs> you're blindlessly, but I can't say that. Oh my God. You are manifesting wearing a mask. You know, you don't even know what you're, what you're going to manifest next. You're just like, okay, well, I'm just going to leave it up to whoever and I'm just going to, you know, do whatever I want. No. Get curious on what you want next, right? It's it's uncertain. Choose who you will become. Because right now, I feel like you're like a blank canvas. And I said that, you know. I said that, and then I thought, no, you're the paint. So, you are the paint, and you're just looking for a canvas to paint on. It's what's happening. You're not waiting for someone to paint on you. You're waiting on something to, to paint yourself on. And there's a difference in that. You know? You're finding the lesson. Things have changed. Very quickly. There's a, a huge shift changing like overnight for y'all. This is really, this is, and I mean when things happen overnight like that, it's like, whoa, what in the world? Believe in impossible things, okay? Work through that disbelief that you have. Because you can create anything you put your mind to. Especially if you know what it is you want to put your mind to. You know, what you want to put your energy towards. Lead the way. Show others how it's done. You can help others in your life. And I feel like with this person that you're, you're trying to get away from, you tried to help this person over and over again. And you just couldn't do it. And then you just, you, you know, you sat in that energy for a while of, you know, defeat. You sat in an energy of defeat. Like, what am I going to do with this next? And then, while you sat in that energy, you came into a new, fresh perspective. And you were you were kind of, maybe, even realized that this was a lesson. And you started trusting it. That it was a lesson. And that, you know, that you need to let go of it. Because you learned the lesson. Oh, I like that. You learn the lesson, Capricorn. Um, don't get in too much of a repetition. Like, a repetitive... Y'all can't talk today. What is this? It's always... Work on things that, that you... Um, blindlessly do every day you know like your your uh routines and stuff like that look at your routines how are they working in your favor okay look at that where are you frustrated in your routines look at that and see where you could you know you could tweak them and you could work with them and you could work on things sometimes we do things we don't even realize that we do you know where can you where is it toxic in your life that you maybe can take a shift to that and get out of that that um, repetition. Because it's saying walk away from that frustration. 
<laughs> this could be with the situation. This 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 situation was just like it was just an ongoing situation, and they're saying it was frustrating. Walk away from it. Okay, I got that. They're saying walk away from it. It's not serving you any longer. Lead the way into something that's that's way more better, and some towards someone that you know will take your. Um, because you can help others. I feel like someone that will take in your, your help and that will, you know, will learn from it. And it might, it might not even be help. It might just be, a, you know, will take in your, your love, your energy, your, you know, your vibration and your worth. People that would take, yep, go to people that will take your worth at value. Because I don't feel like this person or this, this um, situation was looking at your value like you should have like it should have you know okay capricorn that's all i got for y'all today thank y'all so much for stopping by and i hope y'all have a beautiful week and i uh, send y'all lots of love and light all right bye bye <laughs>